The challenge with modern AI isn't just model quality. It's hardware utilization. You can't afford to have your accelerator sitting idle. You need infrastructure that minimizes latency and maximizes throughput. Today, we're diving deep into the hardware platform that powers the largest, most demanding AI workloads in the world, Google's Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs. We'll break down exactly what makes them different and how you can start leveraging them in your own infrastructure. As we know, training and serving sophisticated AI models, especially large language and generative AI, involves a massive number of mathematical calculations. While CPUs are the versatile brains of traditional computing and GPUs excel at parallel tasks, they weren't originally built for deep learning. Google designed TPUs from the ground up as application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs, to accelerate deep learning workloads. Their primary purpose is to handle the massive matrix and tensor operations fundamental to neural networks with incredible speed and efficiency. This specialization is what makes them a game changer for large-scale AI, powering everything from Gemini to Search and Google Photos. So, what makes a TPU tick? Let's zoom in on the chip itself. At the heart of a TPU are the matrix multiply units. Think of these as the powerhouse of the chip. An MXU is a systolic array, a grid of thousands of multiply accumulators that perform massive matrix calculations in a highly parallel and efficient way. Instead of reading and writing to memory for each calculation, data flows through the array, drastically increasing throughput. Feeding these powerful MXUs requires fast data access. That's where high bandwidth memory comes in. It's placed very close to the TPU core, ensuring the MXUs don't wait for data and can operate at peak performance. But not all AI models are dense. Recommendation models, for example, often use enormous sparse data sets. For this, TPUs include sparse cores. These are specialized data flow processors designed to accelerate models that rely heavily on embeddings by gathering and processing only the necessary data. The combination of MXUs for dense calculations, sparse cores for sparse data, and HBM for fast memory access makes the TPU a versatile and powerful AI accelerator. A single TPU chip is powerful, but modern AI requires scaling to thousands of chips working in concert. This is where the TPU cloud architecture comes in. In our data centers, TPUs are organized into physical units called cubes. A TPU V4 cube, for instance, is a 4x4x4 four by four by four arrangement of 64 chips. These cubes are the building blocks for larger structures. Multiple cubes are assembled into a TPU pod, a collection of thousands of TPUs connected by a specialized high-speed network. For example, our upcoming Ironwood TPU can have 9,216 chips in a single pod. When you request TPUs for your workload, you ask for a slice. A slice is a subset of a pod connected by the ultra-fast inter-chip interconnect. This allows all the chips in your slice to communicate with low latency as if they were one giant supercomputer. The ICI is a critical innovation. From version V4 forward, chips are connected to their six nearest neighbors in a 3D torus topology, ensuring massive bandwidth for communication between chips. Ironwood pods will feature 1.2 terabytes per second of chip-to-chip -chip communication. This is crucial for distributed training where the model is spread across many chips. To ensure reliability at this massive scale, the ICI network has built-in resiliency. It can dynamically route around faults in the network, improving the availability of your TPU slices with minimal performance impact. And for the largest models, you can even go beyond a single pod with multi-slice, which uses our fifth version data center network called Jupyter to connect multiple slices, enabling training jobs that span tens of thousands of chips. Jupyter can handle 13 petabits a second of non-blocking bisectional bandwidth. For the largest training jobs, this is essential for the all-gather steps. For years now, we've designed new generations of the TPU, each generation getting faster and more capable. But the answer to your AI workload isn't always just to use the fastest and latest. TPU V4s are fantastic at training and serving diffusion models or smaller LLMs. TPU V5Es can serve the latest LLMs easily, while the V5P and V6Es larger HBM footprints make them great for large training jobs. For customers that are able to manage heterogeneous training and serving jobs, the wide selection of versions give them the ability to balance the needs of cost and availability. Finally, a word about frameworks. PyTorch-based models are supported on TPUs with XLA, and with VLLM, serving models on either TPUs or GPUs is easier than ever. But when you have a dedicated set of engineers working on distributed AI systems all day, you know what you get? You get jacks. 
JAX is Google's high-performance machine learning and numerical computing library. It shares an API with the popular NumPy framework and features three main function transformations, which you can combine like building blocks. JAX has become extremely popular at research institutions like DeepMind because it gives researchers and engineers a high degree of control and flexibility. From the systolic array on a single chip to multi-slice training across several pods, Google Cloud TPUs provide the scalable, purpose-built infrastructure needed to train and deploy the most demanding AI workloads. To learn more, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for watching.